What's up everybody? Today we are in one of the most sought after suburbs in the state of Missouri. It's the sixth largest city in Kansas City, as well as the sixth largest city in the state of Missouri, Lee Summit. That's right, today we are doing a full vlog style video of Lee Summit, Missouri. And we're right here in the downtown area of Lee Summit. This is one of my favorite parts of Lee Summit because it's the historic district. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you know I'm a sucker for the historic parts of Kansas City. Lee Summit is actually 68 square miles, so it's very spread out and it's grown rapidly over the past several decades. Right here in the downtown area though, you're gonna find a lot of local shops, businesses, and restaurants. You have over 40 shopping areas and 30 different restaurants. Right across the street here, we have the Pink Elephant, which is actually a piano bar. And then you can see just the architecture and these old buildings all around me. It's a really neat area. And then surrounding the downtown area, you're gonna find a lot of historic homes. So this was actually founded in the 1800s and the downtown area was constructed in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So you're gonna find a lot of bungalows, four squares, craftsman home right around this area. So if you like historic homes, this is gonna be a great spot to be. Here in the downtown area, there are gonna be a lot of events. They do a fourth Fridays, which is similar to, you know, the first Fridays that you'll find in Kansas City, as well as they do a St. Patrick's Day parade, which just happened. Uh, and they do like an Easter egg hunt. Um, you know, a lot of cool events take place right here in this area. Right behind me, we have Poppy's Ice Cream and Coffee House, which I'm a sucker for ice cream. I have a, a major sweet tooth. Right across the street over here, we have Arcade Alley, which is actually an arcade, but it's also a bar. Pinball, you know, all of the vintage arcade games, you can get that all right here in downtown Lee Summit. I just grabbed a lunch over here at this spot. It's called the Filling Station Barbecue. I had me a great barbecue sandwich, the Smoking Joe and some French fries. Fantastic barbecue. So if you're in downtown Lee Summit, definitely check them out. Cool thing about this, it used to be a gas station and opened originally in 1948. And then in the 70s, they converted it over into a barbecue joint. So again, Kansas City, known for its barbecue. You got a great barbecue joint right here in downtown Lee Summit. This is the original depot here in downtown Lee Summit. It was actually built in 1905. Now it actually houses the Chamber of Commerce here in Lee Summit. And then right behind me, you can see we have some local businesses. So this downtown area is actually part of the National Historic Register. And all of these businesses here, you have a ton of local family owned businesses, restaurants and shops. There are over 40 shops 30 restaurants right here in downtown Lee Summit. And then surrounding this entire area, you can see behind me, you have some apartment complexes over here. So we're gonna show you some of the houses here. You can be in a very walkable location right here in downtown Lee Summit. A lot of these historic homes have been uh, renovated. And so you'll find you know, a lot of craftsmen, bungalows, four square type properties right here within walking distance of downtown Lee Summit. It's one of the things that makes Lee Summit such a desirable area. What's up everybody, my name's Kyle. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Kansas City. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, and play in Kansas City, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell to make sure you're notified every single time we release a new video. We honestly get so many calls, texts, emails every single day from people who are relocating here and we absolutely love it. So if you're considering relocating to, buying or selling a home in Kansas City, shoot us a call, text, email, day or night, we got your back with moving to KC. Now, real estate is difficult to come by here in the historic part of town here in downtown Lee Summit. At the time of recording this video, there's only one active listing for sale in all of the downtown area. A lot of these houses, again, they were built in either the late 1800s to the early 1900s. This house behind me has been completely renovated. So they tore it all the way down to the studs. It's four bed, three bath, about 
1,300 square feet, and it's currently listed for 345,000, but you're gonna find a lot of mature trees in this neighborhood because it is historic. And that's one of the things that I really love about this part of Lee Summit. If you can find the property, it's a great spot to be here in Lee Summit. So if historic homes aren't your jam, then take one of the many new developments in master plan communities here in Lee Summit. It is growing at such a rapid rate that you find lots of master plan communities like this one here, Woodside Ridge, right here at the community center, which has an outdoor pool complete with a slide. They have a pickleball court and then their own private walking trails. Now there are five floor plans in this community and the price range is gonna be from half a million all the way up to $1 million. I'm gonna walk you through one of these model homes, show you exactly what they look like. The finishes are fantastic. You're gonna to wanna to see it. This is by far one of my favorite features in this house. You got your own private gym in the basement. Lee's Summit is massive. As I mentioned in the first part of the video, it's 64 square miles. So, I mean, it's just a sprawling community. We shot in Lee Summit for two days and barely even scratched the surface. So what I'm gonna do right now is pull up the map and I'm gonna walk you through some of these other communities and other areas. There are three lakes in Lee Summit two of which you can actually live on. So I wanna walk you through some of these areas so you have a full bird's eye view of what it's like to actually live in Lee Summit. Okay, so we have our map up here and you can see just how massive Lee Summit is. I mean, it's huge. And if you're up here on the north side, you're gonna be closer to Blue Springs and I-70. So that is gonna make it an easier commute to downtown and the airport. And on the north side, you're gonna have your first lake community, the Lakewood Estates. Now, a lot of these homes were built in the 80s, but it's really cool area. You know, again, I'm a fan of some of these older neighborhoods because you get more mature trees and you can take pontoon boats out onto this lake. There's this little canal that uh, connects both of these, these areas. So, you know, a lot of these homes, again, you know, they're gonna be older, but it is some really cool architecture for some of these homes. So 
you know, again, you're not going to find houses like this in other parts of the newer developed Lee Summit. Um, you know, a lot of them have been renovated. There are some new construction homes out here as well. So you can find that, but it's going to be anywhere from the 350 price range up to the million dollar price range. You can find all of that here in the Lakewood community. Just south of Lakewood, you're going to have some of your shopping. So, you know, right here is 470. You're going to have your Constantinos, your first quick trip which is an important information to have. All right, and then just southwest of there, you're gonna have your first hospital, which is the Lakewood Medical Center. So that is a big employer in Lee Summit. The school district and the medical centers, uh, you have two big ones out here. So you're gonna have the Lakewood Medical Center and then you're gonna have St. Luke's East. So both of those are gonna be, you know, kind of on the north side of Lee Summit. And then along 470 here, you're gonna have some shopping districts, you know, Sky Zone, uh, trampoline park here and then it splits off here 291 is going to take you uh, down into another you know very populated part of Lee Summit where you're going to find a lot more shopping some older developments some newer developments um, you know kind of all sprinkled in here you'll find you know everything from homes built in the 70s 80s up to brand new construction um, you know but again you you can live in one of these areas uh, you know and be in a somewhat walkable area if that is important to you and then as you go down 291 here um, you're going to branch off to third Third Street. Now, Third Street is what takes you into downtown where we filmed a lot of the vlog. And all around here is where you're going to find those historic homes. Um, also, important information uh, Whataburger just came to Kansas City. This is one of the first locations that opened here. And then as you go down 470 this way, this is a summit crossing shopping area. This is going to be another major shopping area. And Woodside Ridge is just west of that. So, so um, this is, you know, again, if you want to be close proximity to your target, your Best Buy, your Lowe's, you know, all of this shopping and restaurants here, then that is a great community to look at. And we have relationships with some of these builders. And, you know, a lot of times it's important to reach out to us because they're offering incentives and sometimes they don't tell you about them. It's important that you reach out to our team so that way we can, you know, make sure that we get you the absolute best deal possible with interest rates going up. Um, you're going to have Jack Stack Barbecue over here as well. Um, so, you know, again, a, a lot of great shopping, a lot of great dining right here. And they're really, they're still building this all out. So, and, you know, all of this on this side of, on the west side of Prior Road is like brand new. You have McKeever's Market and Eatery. Now, as we go uh, further south, you're going to run into 50 Highway. So 470 goes to 50, and this is what gets you to downtown Lee Summit. But the further you go east, that's going to take you out to Lone Jack, which is a smaller city. Um, and the reason I bring that up is because Powell Gardens is right out here and it's the Botanical Gardens and it is absolutely stunning. Again, we filmed a lot of this, you know, in the winter time, so we can't do justice to just how lush and beautiful it is here in Kansas City in the spring and summer, which it's right around the corner. Man, I'm ready to get out of the house, but they do, um, you know, Christmas lights and there are all these hiking trails. Uh, you can, you know, there are weddings and stuff that take place out here. So you can be close to that in Lee Summit. Uh, you know, for me, we love going out there, but it's about an hour drive from Kansas City. So, you know, not great proximity. Uh, but here in Lee Summit, you're going to have easy access to that. There's also the James A. Reed Memorial Wildlife Area, which is, you know, just on the southeast side of Lee Summit. There are 12 lakes and ponds for fishing, a lot of hiking and beautiful beautiful scenery here. So if you just want to go take a book and hang out in the outdoors, there's horseback riding on the trails as well. Um, and then you're going to have a shooting range and archery field down there as well. The second lake that you can live on is going to be Rain Tree down here on the most southern part of uh, Lee Summit. And they've really developed a lot of this area here. So again, you're going to find, you know, Price Shopper and, uh, you know, a lot of shopping. There's a Walmart down here as well. So, you know, again, 
it's spread out, but they've really done a great job in these master plan communities of setting up shopping in each of these different districts. And so if you want to live on the south side, yeah, you're going to be a little further away from like downtown Kansas City and, you know, the airport and stuff. But you really don't ever need to leave because you have this area here, the Rain Tree community. You can also boat there if you live there. Uh, behold, this first house that we pull up here has a boat in the driveway. But again, you know, newer construction and older homes found in this community. Um, but you can, you know, live on the lake. There are a lot of homes that aren't on the water, um, but with within walking distance. So that is a great place to be as well. And then over here on the west side, you're going to find Longview Lake. This is part of Jackson County Parks and Rec. So it is a public lake. There are no houses on the water, but it is a great spot for boating. They have an awesome swim beach. They do Christmas in the park in the wintertime where you drive through and they have all these Christmas lights. There are a lot of developments just east of here and they're really building this out at a pretty rapid rate uh new long view is going to be right here in this community and actually let's pop down here and i'll just uh show you what i'm talking about like you know again i live in the city i live in brookside if i lived in lee summit i would definitely consider new long view as one of our communities because they kind of built these to look like old historic homes like i mean driving through brookside you know you, you see houses like this all the time now they're going to be smaller lots and it's going to be closer together but you have all this green space in the middle here and then you're going to have a uh, playground as well so i mean this is a great spot longview mansion is right here and the elementary school longview farm elementary school is actually an old horse barn from the Longview Estate. So again, this is a great spot down here. You have Gusto Coffee, which I love, and they have their own little, you know, downtown area here as well, which is really neat. So the only thing you don't really have over here is you don't have like a, a grocery store. Um, so you do have, you know, CVS uh, pharmacy and there is a, a movie theater here as well. But, you know, you're going to have to drive down third. This is going to be your closest uh, grocery store in high V over here off 50 highway and third street, but it's only about, you know, an eight minute drive from, uh, the Longview area. Now, the last place I'm going to show you is just north of Longview Lake. As we zoom in here, it's the Paragon star sports complex. And this is a $250 million development. It has 10 FIFA size soccer fields. Actually, let's go ahead and, and shut down the map and I'm just gonna show you. All right, so you're getting an inside view of the Paragon Star Soccer Complex and Entertainment District. I just met Chris, the CFO. He let me come back here to film and show you what it's gonna look like. So we have 10 FIFA size soccer fields here in this complex behind me. We have one of the largest outdoor screens in the Midwest, which they're going to host movie nights out here on this field and do like watch parties and stuff like that. It's surrounded by all of these mature trees, which will be filled in here just in a few weeks as it's the middle of March right now. Spring's right around the corner. And then just on the other side of this tree line, you can actually see the highways right there. So this is right at 470 and View High Drive. But on the other side of this tree line where that crane is shooting up over the outcropping of trees, they're going to have a full entertainment district complete with two hotels, luxury apartments, shopping, entertainment, uh, pickleball courts, volleyball courts, and an outdoor plaza area. So it's going to be a great attraction for Lee Summit, a huge addition for this community, and all of the soccer tournaments and stuff that'll take place here are just gonna be magnificent. Again, another great reason to live and be in Lee Summit. Well, another thing that makes Lee Summit such a desirable area for people who are relocating to Kansas City is the public school district. They have an A-plus rating according to Niche.com with 19 elementary schools, four middle schools, and three high schools, one of which is a brand new facility. They're also ranked number four for athletes in the entire state of Missouri and number two for teachers. Now, my wife and I are both licensed real estate agents here in Kansas City, and we would love to help you make that smooth move to the Midwest in the Kansas City area, but you gotta reach out to us, shoot us a call, 
text, email. The only thing that we love more than living in Kansas City is helping other people to relocate here. And if you've enjoyed the content, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help with how YouTube ranks our videos, as well as subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you're notified every time we release a new video. We hope you enjoyed this vlog tour of Lee Summit. Until next time.